Hey, either a Mac users and Mac automators. This is Bakari Shivano with Mac Automation Tips. Hey, in this particular video, I'm going to talk about why I'm moving away from my favorite task management application called Todoist to another task management application called Informant 5. Now, you may be kind of calling me a little bit crazy there, but I'm going to explain to you why I'm doing that. And it might, this information might be quite useful to you as well if you're looking for a task management application. So stay tuned and check it out. Okay, so here we are in the uh, Todoist Task Manager. And uh, like I said before, I have, I did a, produce a video uh, recently about uh, my use of Todoist and how I use it. And um, you know, ironically, I've been, you know, I've been using this for like uh, almost over a year and a half. And, um, you know, just really have been using it quite well at the grandmaster level. But so I've been using it on a daily basis and all that. Um, but in the last, you know, several months, I, I've kind of recognized uh, that I have but a particular issue with Todoist that kind of slowed me down and, and kind, of, kind of was kind of a challenge to use. And I really didn't recognize it until I kind of went back and started looking at Informant 5. So first off, let me explain, you know, the kind of problem I have with Todoist. First off, Todoist is a really good well laid out, uh, well designed uh, application. That's the reason why, you know, I've been using it for so long. And um, it's really helped me to learn how to, you know, use a tax management task management application because it is, you know, relatively easy to use and well designed. And so, um, <clears throat> so basically, in Todoist, you know that Todoist is kind of a it's a linear it's a linear application. It kind of you know presents your tasks in a linear fashion, and that's fine for, you know, like on the current day. But when it comes to like looking at kind of the, your, your you know, upcoming tasks and that kind of thing, you have to scroll down to look at them. And this is pretty much, and most of these uh, events or most of these tasks in here are, are, are some of the recurring tasks that I already set up. And then, you know, at the beginning of the week, basically, or like you know, on a Sunday night, I'm supposed to kind of go in and, you know, look at my week and kind of add tasks to it. To be honest, I really did that. I found myself um, pretty much kind of adding tasks like on a daily basis, which was which was kind of fine. And even sometimes I would ask, I would add tasks after I did them. And um, so that was a particular, I realized that's a particular problem for me. And so this is the reason why I'm kind of moving to, or gonna try out Informant uh, for a while, is because here we are in Informant, Informant now, informant is not as well designed or as minimalist as Todoist, and there's a reason. Maybe there's a reason why for that. So first off, you see in the informant that you can see your task in kind of um, a, a, a week view, you know, like you know seven day view, and you have the ability to um, start that week based on the current day, or you can start it on on a particular day, like a Sunday or a Saturday or what have you, I have it selected that, that it will start with the current day and then go on down to the next seven days, right? And so each day you see I have my task here, but I also have um, in those, I have the um, my if, calendar events as well. Now, for calendar events, my calendar events typically are meetings, appointments, you know, birthdays, social events. Those are ones that I'll keep in my calendar. But I like the fact that I can have those events show up alongside the, um, the task that I have. And, and you can do something like that in Todoist as well. But you get this spatial view. And this is what I need to really, really, really need um, in my task manager, because what that means is, is that there are times when I create tasks and I need, and I don't get them done that particular day. I can grab them and easily move them to another space. And you can, you know, you can move a task around in to do this as well, but it's the spatial view that really helps me to kind of get an overview of my week. And that's really, really important. Secondly, 
um, you can add filters and you can, you know, you can add filters and you can select what types of tasks you want to show up in this kind of sidebar. And you can also see the next day um, task here as well, right? So, um, and you can do, you have filters in um, Todoist as well. And, and that's great. You know, you can look at tomorrow. You can set up all kinds of filters in there. But it's kind of hidden away. And that's another thing that I don't quite like about Todoist there. I like to be able to have some of these filters, uh, pray, uh, you know, kind of stay right in front of me. Particularly these right here. They're called, you know, I put these in the inbox. And this is a, this is a filter actually I created. I don't think that for the Mac version, I'm not sure if um, Informant has an inbox like dedicated inbox on the Mac version. I know it has it on the iOS versions, but I'm, I don't, I didn't, I haven't been able to find one for the, um, uh, for the Mac version. And, and that might be, I just, I haven't figured it out yet. But anyway, I like being able to put these here and kind of keep them there. And these are tasks that I want to do, but I really haven't decided what day that I want to use them. And so when I when I do decide, I can just slide them over. I can pick one and slide it over into a particular day, and I can change the uh, project uh, if I want to do that. So th that's kind of the reason why um, I'm I'm doing this is because um, for me it's it's like I need that spatial view, right? That I'm not going to get in Todoist. And, and I, it's really unfortunate to be moving away from Todoist because this, this particular video is not about, you know, putting Todoist down. It is a great application. I highly recommend it. And if you don't need something like, you know, the spatial view or the calendar integration, yeah, I would say definitely go with um, Todoist. But the informant, what it does is that it integrates uh, them both um, together. And I know for some people that may feel too cluttered, too much. I get that. And, and, and quite frankly, to, uh, informant five is a little bit, you know, it's not even a little bit, it is a little bit of, it's a challenge to kind of, you have to kind of go in and let me bring up the uh, preferences here. Um, you have to go in and set up your preferences based upon how you want them. And that can take a little bit of time and just kind of moving around here. So for example, you, you can see um, here that you can bring up um, these, these uh, you know, you can, you can select what you want to go into this sidebar, into the side menu bar here, and also what you want to go into the menu bar. So you have a lot of options there. And if, if anybody, you know, if you're interested in learning more about this, you know, give me, a, you know, put a like down there, give me some comments at the below, and, and I will consider doing some additional videos about Informant 5. There's not a lot of videos about Informant 5. I know the developers have created some, but if you're interested in, in, in a few more videos about it, I'll do that. If, if, if I don't get, you know, some likes and, and comments on this, then I'll assume that people are really not interested. But that's that's kind of the reason why I, I I'm going with Informant Five. Um, if you're thinking about an, another task manager or changing ones, that's the reason why I did this video to see just to kind of show you some of the advantages of using this application. Now there are I have think that there are some bugs in this application um, that um, that uh, that need to be kind of talked about. But um, uh, one other thing I want to point out. Um, before I, you know, leave this video here, is uh, that the the informant has what's called um, triggers or kind of templates uh, for um, um, for task, and the, it it doesn't work a hundred percent right. But so, for example, if I were to create a new dentist appointment one here, and I just and I, you can you can select which ones that you which you know templates you want to have appear in the menu and I just kind of put this here to kind of show you normally I, you don't have to do that you don't have to have it in the menu but um, so you see how when it automatically opens up and it you know, has dentist appointment there and then it, it also selects 
the um, the calendar uh, that it belongs to. And and this is typically the time that I try to go to a dentist between 11 o'clock. So it kind of inserts that, I think. But for the most part, though, what's really great about this is that it pre-inserts the title of the event or task. You can do the same thing with task. Um, for So, for example, phone conference, and then I can just kind of type in you know, the, the name of the, you know, the phone conference here. And, um, it will also, you know, add it, um, in that particular, um, uh, calendar, um, uh, calendar for me there. Right. And so that's, that's another one. And then if I want to do task, let's see, start a blog post to see how that works. Yeah. So start a blog post about, and then I just put in the topic that I'm going to do it about, but notice, you know, it doesn't, uh, automatically put in the uh, project that it belongs to. I think it used to do that because um, I, I did an article about, um, you know, Informant 5 over a year ago, but I didn't stick with it because I found, you know, I found, uh, you know, Todoist and I really kind of fell in love with Todoist and went there instead. But now I'm kind of going back and, and I, I'm just going to give it a try for, you know, several months and I think I may stick with it. Now, maybe at some point, to do is to will decide to to kind of give a kind of a spatial view of tasks. I'm not sure if they will ever do that. I, I did request that you know as a feature, but um, I'm going to give this application a try. Now I'll, I'll be frank with you as well that Informant Five also is a subscription based uh, application, and the um, I believe the um, inform the the Mac application is I think fifty dollars, like fifty dollars to 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 get that. And, and if you want to do the synchronization and some of the more advanced features in Informant 5, you have to, um, you know, pay, um, you know, for the, 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 I think the subscription is like $25 a year. Uh, personally, I don't mind paying for that. Um, is it will be similar to how I might go out and buy a paper planner every year. And I, I really want to see these developers, both to do it and inform it, as well as the other ones, you know, um, OmniFocus and all of them, be able to just really keep developing their um, their applications and, and just, you know, putting the work into it. So, again, this is the reason why I, I went to Informant 5. Again, it's not the most, you know, like, you know, well designed. It's a, it's a little cluttered, but I'm I'm getting used to it. And this also Informant Five is not um, it's not web based. So that's another kind of minus. And you can't use it with um, if then this that. It doesn't have the integration with it. So there's some things I'm going to miss with it. There's also um, that you know you can you can organize um, in projects here. You can do projects, but for for some reason you can't. As far as I know, you can't do. Uh, you know, like, you know, subfolders. So everything, all the projects into, you know, each project has its own folder, but you can't do uh, the subfolders like you do here in, um, in, 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 uh, in, in Todoist, whereas Todoist you can break down into folders. So what I'm having to do is create, um, basically create a, a kind of um, parent task in, you know, informant. And then in that, inside of that, I make, you know, you can create checklists, or you can create subtask under a task. And so that's how I'm going to kind of maybe, you know, utilize that as well. So again, this is something that if you, you know, are looking for a task manager or you just want to kind of, you know, think about, you know, the one kind of rethink the one you're using, you know, you might want to try it out. So let me know if you're interested in, um, this app, you know, more about this application and I will definitely do some more videos about it.